Oh, yes, some other good news as well. There's been a slight recovery in economic activity in the month of March. Now, this is according to the latest BankServe Africa Economic Transactions Index. It measures the monthly value of interbank electronic transactions processed by BankServe Africa and is an indicator of economic activity. Lower levels of power cuts have contributed to the increase of 1.3% year on year. But overall, if you look at it in a, in a couple of months' time, we are still moving mostly sideways, indicative of an economy that is still unable to break out of the fairly low and slow economic growth environment. For South Africa to break out of this very low growth profile, we will need to see that structural reforms will start to bear fruit in, in the economy. Talking here about you know private uh, generation of electricity, sorting out our ports and our railways. Once we start to see that you know adding meaningfully to economic activity, we will start to, be, uh, to see the betty also picking up. Is there are typically you know, delays before you start to see the positive impact of structural reform on economic activity. It depends in terms of the, uh, different type of projects, but I would see typically 18 to 24 months. And we are starting to see now that some of the projects that have been coming online uh, are starting to make a difference uh, as we go forward. But yes, it is indeed a time delay and we are in that middle ground now where some good things have been announced, have been uh, starting to be implemented, but we're not yet seeing a significant and meaningful change in economic activity yet.